In this problem, we want to analyze using Taylor or Maclaurin polynomials to approximate the values of a function. So we want to use the Maclaurin polynomial of degree 3 for the function f of x is e to the x to approximate the value of e squared. We want to find the error bound using Taylor's theorem, and then actually compute the error to compare those two. So first off, we get to get the polynomial of degree 3 for this function. We know the Maclaurin series for e to the x, and that's the sum n from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. And so to get the polynomial of degree 3, I just want the first four terms up to degree 3 of this series. So the polynomial that I want to look at here is 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, or 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6. And the hope is that with these polynomials and approximations, e to the x should approximately equal this for x somewhere near 0. Now 2 is not great, so it might not be a great approximation, but we can see what we get out of it. So for this, we're approximating e squared by plugging in 2 to this polynomial. So it should be approximately equal to 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared over 2 plus 2 cubed over 6 or 1 plus 2 plus 4 over 2 is 2 plus 8 over 6, which is 4 thirds. That's 5 plus 4 thirds, or that is 19 thirds. Now, for the error bound, Taylor's theorem tells us that the error bound between our approximate value and the actual value of e squared must be less than k times x minus a to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial, where k is an upper bound for the n plus first derivative of f on this interval. And the interval here goes from a, the center point, to x, the point we're actually plugging in. So in this case, the hint above tells what to do. It's that to use e squared for this upper bound here. So in using that, we know that our error here can be bounded by e squared times x minus a, it's how far away, which is 2, to the power n plus 1. n here is the highest degree we have, which is 3, so that's 4, over 4 factorial, which is e squared times 16 over 24. We're plugging into a calculator is approximately about 4.926. So that's not a great error here. That's a really big error for this sort of problem. But to see that we're on the right track, we can just compare e squared itself to our value of 19 thirds. So e squared is approximately 7.389 and 19 thirds is 6.333. So we're not really that close here, but we are in fact within this error bound here by a fair bit. We're about one off with only three terms, and that's, you know, relatively okay for the situation. But we can see that if I were to take more terms in the polynomial, with the same setup here, my error for more terms is e squared times 2 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. So if I take, say, 10 terms, I'm getting e squared times 2 to the 11th over 11 factorial. And that error bound is now 0 0.000379. So much, much smaller and much more reasonable than the first one. So taking more terms, which makes sense because as you take more terms, you're adding more and more and more to get this number further and further up to meet with this one here. And as we only took four terms, so that was gonna be a problem with the error. We're gonna get something pretty bad, but at least get us a way to sort of approximate values to a rough estimate for this type of problem. That's how you look at a Maclaurin series, figure out the Maclaurin polynomial, use it to estimate a value, and then discuss the error bound and how it relates to the actual error between your approximated value and the actual value of the function at your desired point.